welcome. This is your brand new total body workout with weights for March. We're gonna be jumping into, we've got six exercises that you'll be needing a mat or soft surface like a carpet or a towel, a lighter set of dumbbells and a heavier set of dumbbells. If you have a kettlebell, that'd be awesome. You wanna grab a heavier kettlebell. I got my 12 kilo kettlebell because we're gonna be doing goblet squats. If you don't have a kettlebell, no problem. Just grab one really heavy set or one heavy dumbbell and we'll use that. And um, I think that's about it. You need maybe some water. <laughs> and I've got the timer set for a couple of exercises we're gonna do for 30 seconds and I'll have on the timer. Your mantra for today is that I am worthy. And just even bring your hands to your chest and say that. Say it out loud if you feel comfortable. <laughs> I am worthy. I am worthy of this time that I'm taking out of my schedule to show up, to do this work, to exercise, to move my body in a way that feels good and that will spill over into the rest of my life and to making magic happen in the rest of my life. I am worthy of this time. And not only am I worthy of this time on the mat to exercise and to move and to get stronger and to feel better, I'm worthy of how I feed myself, of how I cook in the kitchen and how, of the foods that I choose. I am worthy of giving myself the best. And I'm worthy of choosing the habits that will help me feel my best, the sleep patterns, the behaviors that I know will start my day off and finish well. So just remembering that this time on the mat is just a practice for the rest of our life and that we have a chance to really practice and hold on to this feeling, this belief. Maybe you don't feel it right now, but keep saying to yourself, keep showing up, keep working through some negative beliefs around it, but you are worthy. Just claim that. All right, let's do this, you guys. We're gonna do a little different style today where I'm gonna be working out without talking to you on the, I'm gonna do the workout and voice it over so I can work out more intensely. You can maybe follow along at a little bit quicker pace if that feels good for you and give you really detailed instructions as I voice it over. All right, let's do this. See you on the other side, bye. Let's get started with wall squats. We're gonna be grabbing those medium weights. I'm going for 30 seconds. Get yourself a setup on the wall. And we'll be doing punches. So hips in line with the knees, get nice and settled, back pressed into the wall, and alternating punches forward. Nice strong core. Extend all the way through the fist. You got it. You're gonna get your heart rate up on these. Keep moving. Going for a full 30 seconds here. Stay with it. Reset whenever you need to, but try and imagine that you're, and you can even bring a pillow between your knees or a block. Great job, switching it up, we're going into plank rows. For these, you want heavier dumbbells, so really try and challenge yourself with a heavier weight, working that mid, the mid-back muscles. You're gonna stay on one side for eight reps. Bring it up, awesome. Good, elbow goes straight to the ceiling. Think of the weight going to the side of your ribs. Nice job. Try and control on the way down, switching sides. Stabilize through the hips. Nice strong plank through the rest of the body. Try and only have the arm moving on these. Good work, you guys. Finishing these up. And set those weights aside. We're gonna move on to the bicycles. So we're gonna be alternating between slow and fast reps. So we're gonna start with 20 slow and then 20 fast. So keep the shoulders up. Twist, think of that shoulder crossing over to the opposite knee versus the elbow. So really try and twist from the shoulder and lifting up through those shoulder blades, try and get them off the ground as much as you can throughout the entire movement. Nice job, pull the belly button in, anchor yourself in the midline. To make it more challenging, I, I draw my knee in a little bit past the hip line. If you wanna make it more challenging, try not to draw the knee in. Switching to fast reps past the hip that is. Good job. Go quickly here for 20 reps. Alternating, shoulders stay high and then back to slow for 10. Good job, nice and focused. Get focusing on that form again. Elbows out wide. Good, back to finishing out with 10 quick. Almost done here, nice work. Good job, rolling up or coming to your side to come on up. Moving on to lunges, we're gonna go back to those mid-weight. Gonna have those with you. I'm gonna step out. 
complete one deltoid raise, and then when you come back to standing, one bicep curl, deltoid raise while you do the lunge, come back to standing, and bicep curl. Good, so one deltoid raise as you step out and hold the lunge, one bicep curl as you come back <laughs> to standing. If you get a little confused, it's okay. I did it in the video as well. You just wanna try and get one deltoid raise and one bicep curl per lunge. I'm going for 12 lunges total. Nice, lifting out to the sides, bringing the elbows up to shoulder height. 90 degree angle in those elbows. Almost done with these. So we got six each side, 12 total. Nice job, hold that lunge deeply. Try and get the back knee almost to the ground. Good work, you guys. Getting those shoulders and biceps. Got to be getting to the end on these. I know we're almost done. <laughs> I lost count because I'm talking. Good. There you go. Finishing that up. Moving on, we're going to grab the kettlebell if you have it or one or two really he heavier dumbbells that you have available. We're going to clean the weight up towards your chest, holding the weight at your chest. Elbows go down in between the knees, so a little bit wider stance for the squat here. We're going to be doing 12 squats total, 12 goblet squats. Sit the hips down and back. Nice job, knees track over the toes, in the same direction as the toes. Showing you from the side here. Trying to break the midline, which means getting the glutes lower than the knees. So sit back, keeping the chest upright as much as possible, which will help work on strengthening the upper and mid back. Hang in there guys, almost done with these. Try and really challenge yourself with the heavier weight. And done. Okay, we gotta finish out. We got 30 seconds of squats. I'm sorry, of high knees. Get those knees up, so think of it as a sprint. Go as quickly as you can. You wanna get breathless on these. You wanna be pushing yourself to your limit here. Should be at about a level of nine out of one to 10, where 10 is your max. Push, push, push here, guys. Really dig deep. You can't do high knee sprints. You're gonna be doing marching as fast as you can. Any kind of really intense high speed cardio for these 30 seconds. And done. Good job. Awesome work. Round one done. Moving on to round two in just a sec after 30 seconds of a break. All right. That was one round, guys. I know that got me breathless and my muscles burning. So we're gonna repeat that for three more rounds if you can. So take a little bit of rest now about 30 seconds, one minute max, I would say, and then jump right into the second round. You can do this. So proud of you. Go, put, go hard, go strong, rest when you need to, but really try and push yourself when you're working. All right, guys, good luck.